Hey friends, so I just got back from my dig. I was a paleontologist today. That means I was digging for fossils or bones of dinosaurs. And I didn't find anything today, but a couple of friends came by and wanted to help me tell you all about some interesting things we should know about dinosaurs. Do you want to know? Do you want to meet them? Okay, so first, here is my Centriosaurus. Centriosaurus has a point on his nose and he has a crown of horns. That way, if anybody was mean to him, he would bend his head and push into them so that they would stay away. That was his protection. So he has his horn here and horns all around. Now, I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions. Mr. Dinosaur, how are dinosaurs different than lizards? Oh, that's a good question. So, go ahead, tell me. Oh, so the Centriosaurus wants me to tell you that dinosaurs have legs that stay straight and they walk on their feet and they big stomps. Lizards, if you've ever seen an iguana or a little lizard, they walk on their toes and their legs bend. Dinosaurs' legs don't bend. That's how they're different. Did you know that? Oh boy. Okay. So, why do dinosaurs have scales, Mr. Dinosaur? The Centriosaurus said that they all have scales. Take a look at his body. Those are scales. And those scales keep their body nice and wet. They keep all of the heat out so they don't get too hot. Say bye to Mr. Centriosaurus. I have some new friends that came. All right, let's see who's next. Are you ready? This is Mr. Stegosaurus. Oh, do you see his spines at the very top? They are very, very sharp. They even have spikes on his tail. He has a small head. Do you see his small head? I'm actually gonna move his feet down so that he could walk better. All right, Mr. Stegosaurus, I have to ask you a question. Are you ready? Okay, what did dinosaurs eat? Oh, so some dinosaurs eat meat. So sometimes they eat other animals or they eat other insects or sometimes they even bite other dinosaurs, which isn't nice. That's why Mr. Stegosaurus has this for protection. Some dinosaurs eat grass and leaves. So that's why Mr. Brontosaurus has a really long neck. But Mr. Stegosaurus here, do you eat plants or animals? Oh, he eats plants, I think. We'll have to check. Sometimes they don't tell the truth, these dinosaurs. We have to research. Research means we read all about them. And that's what I was doing when I was on our dig. Okay, do dinosaurs have nice eyes? Can they see very far? Most dinosaurs can see very far. T-Rex's eyes face forward, but the other dinosaurs always have eyes to the side. If they're hunters and they eat meat, they can look straight like you and me. But if they eat plants, their eyes go to the sides of their heads. Isn't that interesting? Oh, wow. Okay, Mr. Stegosaurus, thank you so much for all your help. I'm gonna ask one of your friends to come visit me. Is that okay? <gasps> okay, say so see you later, Mr. Stegosaurus. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Stegosaurus, I did have to tell you something. Those spikes were super weapons in his tail. Did you see his tail? 
his eyes were on either side. Remember when I said that? That's so that we could check them. I forgot to tell you about his tail. His tail would whip around. Thank you, Mr. Dinosaur, for showing that to us. That was very important. That was in case anybody got too close to him. Okay, who is next? My Mr. Brontosaurus. Hi, Mr. Brontosaurus. Did you notice about Mr. Brontosaurus that his tail is long? His body is big and his long neck and tiny head are right here. Alexa, didn't you tell me that that was your favorite dinosaur too? I love this guy. I think he's my favorite. He eats out of the trees I saw. You know why? When I was looking for his bones, I found leaf, so different leaf fossils next to him. Fossils, I told you, we're gonna talk all about them, but fossils are a hard piece of something that was next to the dinosaurs that stayed for a very long time. So I saw some leaves next to him, so that means he eats leaves. He's an herbivore. But how big is your brain, my friend? You gonna tell them? So it depends on how big his head is. A brachiosaurus was as big as a house, but his brain was very small, very similar to this brontosaurus. His brain is very tiny because his head is very tiny. So he didn't have too many brains to think about all different things. He really just ate all day at the top of the trees. But a T-Rex has the biggest brain because he has the biggest head. Do you see his short arms? They don't do too much. His legs are very strong and powerful and have a very strong tail. It makes them very, very fast. And he told me that he is called the king because Tyrannosaurus means, we talked about that yesterday, do you remember? What does a Tyrannosaurus mean? A tyrant king, that means he's very mean and scary and he thinks that everything is his. So he's the tough guy. Are you very tough? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm so glad you visited me today and I'm glad you got to see the dinosaurs and you got to learn some new things about them. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.